Hi, my name is Nick Ellis. I'm a missionary here in the mountains of Panama. And like many of you listening right now, my plans have changed immensely because of this quarantine time, because of this coronavirus. And I just want to tell you one of the needs that has came up here in Panama. Normally we work in schools and we focus on spiritual needs of children and growing a generation and we preach the gospel in schools and work with other organizations to bring the gospel out. But right now we have a huge need and it's a huge opportunity as well. Right here in the mountains of Panama, people are unable to work. Panama has had a major quarantine. In third world countries like Panama, if they can't work, they literally have no other way of getting funds. Most of the people here, especially in the mountain areas, they work on a day-to-day -day basis where they work one day and they have just enough to put food on the table and to provide for themselves. Well, here they have no a way of really doing that anymore so they, there's a huge need and there's many families in this area that are going to bed hungry every night right we've been doing uh, a work to feed about 20 families here a week we're getting ready to go out uh, today we have 17 families that we're going to be uh, supporting with some different food just the basic necessities uh, rice pasta oil And by the grace of God, we've been able to do that. We're providing people with Bibles and Christian literature. We have favor with the police, so we've been going to not only feed them food, but also been able to pray for people. And we've seen many miracles taking place. One of the homes we went to, we found Senora Ida in her bed with kidney failure. And uh, so we told her about the hope that we have in Jesus and how he's our healer. And we were able to pray for her. <laughs> Many salvations, people getting healed and uh, people just thanking Jesus for providing food and, and uh, physically and spiritually. But in that time we've been getting Many more families now are, are, uh, are finding out and they're in huge need. Their children are going to bed hungry every night. So we have about 70 to 100 more families that are in need right now. And we vow we don't want to let any of them go. We love to feed them every week um, the word of God and, and, and food, especially in this time. So we, we're looking for people to partner with us. We're looking for uh, people to help fund what, what is happening right now. We're not normally an organization that, that focuses on this, but we see opportunity and we see need and we want to jump on that. So we just want to be his hands and feet. So we're looking for people who can help us. Maybe you can't go to other nations. Maybe you can't go to third world countries, but I'm telling you that we're here already and you can send funds. You can send uh, help that we can get more food and more Bibles and things that people will need, mostly food and, and items that uh, they really, really, truly need in this hour. And we can love them phys in physical ways and also pray for their spiritual needs as well. So will you help us? Your donations will go direct to the people most in need. If you're interested in giving and partnering us in this crucial hour, in this crucial time, you can partner with us with a couple of ways. You can do a tax-deductible donation on citiesforchrist.com. You can put in the notes, Feed Panama. Also, if you want to just give directly, you can give through um, Cash App or PayPal. So you can message us and we can let you know how to do that. Thank you so much and God bless you. Gracias por el apoyo que nos han dado y gracias a las personas que dan las donaciones que lo sigan apoyando ustedes en su caminar y que Dios los acompañe.